everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Uki and Folger had a fan meeting in Hong Kong. The attendee count, hundreds and hundreds. You know, I, I, I do criticize Nidhi Sanji. It is wonderful. A lot of girls, as you can see, the Fujo baiting works perfectly fine for them. A lot of girls for them. Um, it's still, it was a small venue to begin with. So it's pretty full for what they were expecting. There is some empty seats, but it's pretty full for what they were expecting. So there's nothing wrong with that per se. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong in that whole thing. Um, it is nice for people to enjoy themselves. Nice for people to have this. The, for the fans, I'm happy for the fans. But of course, it's funny seeing, you know, Fogger and Uki not getting very much overall. Unironically reiterating this as the size of the venue, and you should be trying to organize preferably many small events with just two livers. Um, total attendance here looks like Aya's sister CCV. Yeah, it looks like pretty much it's it's low CCVs. About 200 or so seats, good on them, I suppose. Fogger just looks like Vesper. Yeah, the lighting makes Uki look like Altair. Looks decent for me. I think they should drop a concert that cramped talents someone may not want to sing, aka idol stuff. So yeah, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, but at least they had fans there. You know, that's that, it is what it is. A goofy reveal for a goof. She got her YouTube plaque. Yes, Sayu has her YouTube plaque, her YouTube play button. It did show up. It is right there with the letter, the, the form letter, the, of course, the form letter, who cares? The point is she has her plaque. The one thing that she was not able to get when she was in Nidhi Sanji. I'll read all that later. That's a lot of meaning. Ooh. <laughs> Look, that's cute. <laughs> I can feel the letters. Wow. <laughs> ah, man, I'm just so glad that she has this. I'm so glad she was able to get that. It says, in all reality, I can't believe this. It doesn't feel real, as in I don't believe it actually mine are real. But you guys made this all happen. I'm so grateful. I've never been to the best at trying, uh, but I've always tried. What the heck? Okay, I'll read all that later. That's a lot of meaning. Try to do what I can to eventually do better, hoping someday it'd pay off. Thank you for being patient with me as I keep trying. You guys are my heroes. It's amazing to see. It is absolutely great to see. Cry more, Riku. Yes, of course, Riku never wanted them to have their play buttons because Riku always wanted them to not feel like they deserve it. And I'm so glad that she finally has it. I really do think that she definitely deserved it. Always. Every single one in the Sanji that gets to 100k deserves it. Every single one. And we are going to look at the replies. You've come so far, Sayu. You have further to go. Congrats on the accomplishments. Rima says, <clears throat> let's go, Sayu. You say, I, Sayu's fan son says, I, I love when Kamiyoshi gets success she deserves. Congratulations, Sayu. As a synchronite and a big fan of your community, I would like to say thank you for inviting me and keeping me in your wonderful community. You're my hero and I love support you forever. Congrats, Sayu. Congrats. Uh, congrats, Sayu. Deserves so much and that much more. I believe you'll tribal, you, you trailblaze. It's a gold play button. Uh, you can touch it and you can keep it. Nice. That's awesome. Congratulations. Everyone's just saying congratulations everywhere. Of course, she deserves all of these congratulations. They're all amazingly good. Yes. Uh, like I said before, she definitely deserves it. Now, as much as many people like to make fun of Millie and things like this, I'm honestly, she hasn't posted a single tweet in three days. What could be going on? It looks like it's uh, something happened in IRL that you need to attend to, but I will be saying played up collab next on Wednesday. Thank you again for being patient. Really need a hug. If there is something serious going on in their life, that is not a laughing matter. I am, you know, hoping that things work out well for them. If it's just a small thing, then whatever, you know, it is whatever. But honestly, as much as I dislike the company, like I've always said, I do not dislike the livers as long as they are not someone who has been evil. If they're someone that's been evil and been doing bad things, then of course I don't like them. But if they're just a person who maybe, you know, runs their mouth a little too much or maybe just has bad moments and that's fine. Everybody has their bad moments. We don't know. She also hasn't shamed. Uh, streamed in close to two weeks. Hopefully nothing bad has happened and she's just taking a break. It looks like something personal has come up in Millie's end as Ethereum collab meant for before the concert today was postponed due to personal stuff on Millie's end. Possible hypothesis and personal stuff. Find it pretty distasteful to rat family problems. And that's the thing. That's what I want to put in here. 
you can dislike the person, but don't wish anything ill will on the actual person. Don't wish ill will on their family. Don't wish ill will on their uh, anyone that's going on. It's kind of a PSA, a small PSA on the end. Um, you do not mock personal problems. You do not mock personal things. It could be a very serious situation that they're going through. I'm just marking it here, like putting it out here as, you know, news because, you know, it's news with, that involves Nudi Sanji. So here we have a situation where <clears throat> Kotaka Create has fan Platform 8. A lot of Japanese people, and I believe also English VTubers, have played Platform 8. It is an interesting one where I think you keep it keeps switching things around on you. It's kind of kind of a, a, a horror style game, I believe. Uh, Pretendo Joe Sama is a debugger, small light novel, a manga premise. Charming Pon Joe Sama seems to have all the luck while it's fixed. From what I was able to gather from limited Japanese skills, everyone seemed to have fun, so that's all good. We're gonna watch the specific section where she had this issue. Right here, we're gonna be talking Silicon Era. It says, Hyakuman Tenbura Salome stream of Platform 8. Nidhi Sanji VTuber stumbled across a bug that the creator of the game didn't notice. The game has now been updated to fix the error. Bug in question appears near the end of Salome's playthrough in Platform 8. So she beat the game. Even though there weren't any anomalies, the screen suddenly shook and it counted as a game over. She was about to finish the game. She was right at Platform 8 and everything like that. Kotoke Create apologized for the bug as well as stated that Salome's stream helped them figure out what the issue was. Many viewers and commenters who saw Kotake's stream create tweets. Dirta Salama is a debugger. They aren't surprised she was so lucky to stumble upon a real anomaly. Here is Hyakuman Tembera Salame Platform 8. I'm going to show you the full the full screen of it. Uh, she's a, Of course, you know, she's a VTuber. Platform 8 is a sequel to Exit 8, which players must navigate a train and search for anomalies. Yeah, you're searching for anomalies, and if you don't, don't find the right one, you pretty much it ends for you. Goal is to get the titular Platform 8 as the anomalies range from ma mundane to horrifying. Game technically counts as sort of a psychological horror. Salome stream, we can see some of these anomalies, such as the one where she had to play red light, green light against a, a girl. But here's the end part where she has the issue. And of course, this is, I don't mind playing Hakuman Tenbura's stream because she's an actual good streamer. There she is, Platform 8. And then it ends. It suddenly ends. She thinks she won. She thinks it went well. And there we go. This is the end part of it. Uh, she's thinking that she's, she won, that she's, she's going to be seeing the ending, all that kind of stuff. But here's the problem. Here's where it pops up. There, that's the beginning again. Basically, she had to go all the way from the beginning again. She's back on there. She's like, what? Yeah. She beat the game. She got to platform eight. And now she's at the end. She doesn't know what's happening. And that sucks for Salome. I'll be honest with you. That sucks for Salome. Because no one deserves to have this type of situation happen to them. She worked hard to get to the end. She's someone that I don't dislike. She Her desuwa is the desuwa heard around the world. And yeah, it really does suck that uh, she beat the game pretty much. But then, you know, she got screwed at the end. Meliko and Ao have pizza cooking stream. As far as I know, Meliko has no drama. As far as I know. Again, I'm not fully crazy in the whole JP scene. They're, but they're doing some cooking stuff here for pizza. Uh, I don't know where they're cooking their pizza. They're cooking other stuff in a wok. That looks like in a wok. So... They're cooking other things. They're doing a bunch of cooking stuff. You know, they're doing a lot of fun stuff. It's fun to see people do these types of things. Hope this goes better than last Hollow JP and EGEN collab. What happened there, uh, according to these people at see. Uh, last off collab, then I think he's talking about May Mel X Kotoka. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's talking about the Mel X Kotoka. Supposedly, Kotoka, uh, you know, ratted out Mel. Supposedly. Again, that's still a rat. Uh, Meliko is a Japanese girl who wanted to join Niji so bad, she smashed the language barrier and squeezed her way into Niji EN. Also, haven't really heard much scandals around her. Stuff with Sayu didn't look too bad, at least on the surface. Basically, use Hollow members in Niji Talent's evil detector if Hollow members still collab with them after Doki and Mel's departure, then it's still a good thing. That's a, that's a good that's a good uh, measuring stick. That's actually not a bad measuring stick. Hope they enjoy their off collab. I don't think Aurodan will be quite uh, quiet if Meliko did something mad towards Aokun. You know, basically, it's if they still collab in the Hollow Life sense, then they don't have drama, it seems like. This is going over uh, what people think is the most successful thing Niji Liver or Livers have done. 
Uh, they're just wondering, you know, if they've, if they've done anything in Tokyo Dome, any any huge collabs or anything like that. Nothing of large scale, this person says, apart from the contracts. Important debuts. Ilira has voiced the character in anime or game crossover. That went nowhere. She was on TV. Uh, special merch. Singing original song. Collab with all branches. Finana. She got better at singing. Uh, she designed merchandise. She's drawing as well. Uh, she worked with uh, composers. Collab with all branches. Rosami got better at singing piano. A likely idol. Drawing cute outfits. Sing songs with Nayuta Alien. Nayuta Alien. I uh, don't know if they succeeded. 8 billion subs, of course. Um, sing a concert. Produce original song for Petra. Maria, concert original song. Official Honeywork song. Voice act in the game and anime. Same as Alira. Anna, duet with Melissa Kindreka. Kindreka, yep, it's a no. Uh, special merch. Sing an anime OP. Uh, original music album. Work with 7th Expansion. So they've done a, they've done a couple things. Millie has seen an anime opening song, build Cat Cafe, uh, release album, feature. Uh, some of these might be joking, honestly. Some of these might be joking. Uh, 3D concert, uh, original art for Reimu, song and albums, trying new things, ASMR cooking, etc. Collab with all branches. Aya just debut streaming available. Need someone to help. Uh, Scarla sponsored by Otome Cafe. Sing an idol collab cage, uh, cafe collab cafe. NSW parts reads please read self. Meloko release original song. Kotoka original song earn money for better house collaborate with vtubers victoria 100k subs become someone uh, uh kamiyoshi someone's kamiyoshi collab with senpais well that didn't work so well uh, invited to conventions uh kunai 500 streams make cover outfit twisty cover favorite songs cover original songs uh sounds idol like scale figure signs sigma nendoroid oh wow already 3d challenger and yumi top going as content creator these are all the things that people want to do so these are all the things that people want to do um, you know, all these things that they want to do. And that is, you know, it's good for them. If they get to do it, if they've already done it, uh, it's good for them to want to do all these things. Those are all the things that they wanted to have done. Hopefully, you know, the ones that uh, are trying their hardest, which is pretty much everyone, gets at least something positive. But this is Nidhi Sanji we're talking about, of course. So who knows? This is a look down memory lane, a, a search through memory lane to see what they have done in the past. Selen, as someone who was a Selen Oshi since day one, there are a couple of collabs. Remember Chinese with Enna. Selen spoke Cantonese. Enna spoke Mandarin. Phasmophobia with Lazulite. Horror game with Ike Evelyn. Needy Dad. Prolapse canceled. Selen, Fulger, Enna, Vox. I used to really enjoy these four together. At one point, they decided to stop being afraid of getting canceled and just doubled down. Mass Niji and collab with Crab Game. The one zombie game be Psycho, Gmod, Among Us. Teaching Pomo how to Apex. Game of Life with Millie, Claude, Vanta. Uh, Lazulite, Obsidia collabs in early Niji End days. Apex with Shu and Albin. Overwatch with Valorant collabs. So she did it. She, she was a collab monster. She did a lot of things in collabs, which is very good. Forgot about Niji Wing, Selen, Pomo, and Enna. PMS with Pomo and Mista 2. Uh, Civ collab with Vo Vox, Dopio, Folger, where she just caused chaos and immense psych psych psychic damage. She forgot favorite collab, Lethal Company, Vivi, Selen, Pomo, Millie. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the most recent ones. Uh, Hollow Dex has records of them all. Quick math of everyday listed, 872. But that includes songs and multiple POVs from streams. I uh, used to watch Niji canceled Niji dad. So I did a lot. They did they did a lot of these things. These are the most important ones that popped out. Let's take a look at all these Selen collabs. All of these you're mentioning here are the ones that were Selen collabs. GTFO. They did a lot of GTFO. Holy crap. Uh, Blackout. They did a lot of these things. So yeah, she did a lot of collabs, which is great. And Doki is doing a ton of collabs now with sponsors, with everything. It's just amazing to see her grow the way she has. This here was something very interesting. Uh, Kanata and Chloe had something called Rabbit Hole. It was a cover that they had and it got dropped. Why? Because a copyright claim, an automatic copyright claim by Hololive. If these things happen, they, they forgot to what someone somewhere. Like I always say, every single organization has their problems. Every single organization messes up. Hololive isn't clear of this themselves. It isn't just the Sanji that messes up. We've been focusing on Nidhi Sanji a lot, but we got to also let things be understood that it also happens in Hololive. Somewhere, some intern, somebody on the team forgot to whitelist their own talents because it happened before, I believe, with Anya. They had, I think Anya had a cover or an original song that was copywritten by Anya, like copyright struck by Anya, which is weird. It's basically uh, uh, how dare the Hollow Life talents steal Hollow Life talents and intellectual property. Uh, YouTube is an ex expensive car held together by duct tape. Sometimes you just need to be in awe of the mystery of what AI does. So shiny and faulty is a Tesla Cybertruck. Another Anya copyright claimed Anya moment. Kanata is aware of it. I'm going to look over that right now. Insert the trust nobody, even yourself meme. 
Then right here it says, it seemed like Rabbit Hole might have been blocked by HoloLive's copyright. LOL. The admins are looking into it, so please wait a little bit before re-releasing it. So they're going to re-release it. They're going to remove the old video, re-release the new video, and have all of that going on. Why? Because, well, <laughs> they, they played themselves, pretty much. They knocked themselves out of contention. They hit one of their own people with it. It's the automatic copy striking system. A lot of times it automatically goes through. And um, if you have like thousands of them popping up, sometimes they people just press accept all and they all go through and they'll hit their own talents. That is a mistake that happens on Hololive's side. So I have to mark it as well. Like I say, I try to be even with everything. Hololive, anybody else. Bit of a recap of another Doki Bird win. She is going to a con and she's going to Dokomi. She's going to Anime Revo, I believe, or Anime Evo, any, any X, I think. Looks like uh, Doki is going to be at Dokumi for people who are going there already or planning to. Perhaps just found out about this con and want to see Doki support her. Doki will be there from Jun Sunday, June 30th. So at the end of June at 4.30 p.m. And uh, catching W's left and right. Happy for her. Once again, Mr. Riku Tazumi, is this negligible to you? Negligible. Miss Worldwide. First Dokumi convention as a whole. The three-day ticket is so worth it. Hope it can be there for the meet and greet. That's a German degree and I'm so hyped. She's, uh, hope she goes to Anime NYC. Hopefully she does. This is, uh, I'm going to show you Dokumi's actual thing. It's Doki Bird V2 stage. It's going to be, uh, at Doki, Dokumi 2024. Top class artist there. A sim for her, Doki at effing Dokumi. Gonna lose it. Hell yeah. And, um, let me just show you what Dokumi is. Dokumi is going to be taking at, at the Mess Dusseldorf Exhibition Center. It's going to be in Germany. It's going to be in Germany, it looks like. In Dusseldorf. It's going to be in Dusseldorf, Germany. So it's going to be in Bavaria. It's going to be over there in those places. So uh, if you can go and you're in Europe and you can go, perfect. If you can't go, that's also fine. But it's just another Doki Bird win. We recently had U2s, which is a uh, kind of an Android type thing uh, for uh, Doki Bird popping up. Now we have a confirmed mint figure. It is by Hagen Dies Nutz is saying. They're starting They're starting to print it at least. At least they have the 3D kind of thing there. Source. Uh, nice to see another mint win after seeing Middle Gear Solid model swap. Interesting username as well. I mean, purely pale colored ghost is kind of on brand. Maybe don't even need to paint it. You have to paint it yourself? Yes, maybe. I don't know. But like that pale colored ghost is probably, probably good. This is lovely. The ruffles are so cute. Yeah, they, they did it. It's, it's really well done. It's really well modeled. Really well done. It looks incredible. Uh, it's a big win for mint. I mean, even if this is just a, a fan project or it is, you know, one of those things where it's like a 3D printable figure that you can do, even if it's one of those things, it's still a big win for Mint because it means that that she is getting recognized. She's getting recognition, more and more recognition out there. And that's what she deserves. She deserves that type of recognition, you know? So I'm very, very happy to report this and to have that out there. More drama in regards to people doing stuff uh, with artists and that kind of thing this is beware all artists about you know the smorfex um requested this person right here they're saying that they requested a commission according to what they're saying model rigging original date for delivery was february 28th due to the artist's personal issues the line was delayed but they they told them those personal issues uh and for this reason i had to postpone my projects after many months of patience i was given one more chance this past may at the end of this month, I received very few updates and saw no signs of progress. The order of the last two weeks. This is one person's side, of course. So I decided to request my refund in June 1st. But after I asked for my refund, the artist refused and said he would only give me 150 USD out of 200 for a total cost, which is 730. Given the reason that she invested his, they, they invested the time and work that is incomplete, pending delivery three months. In the end, the last thing she told me was she would give me in the maximum of 350 USD. Then the next day on June 2nd, she marked the orders complete, leaving a PSD file. And I, then when I went to VGen support, to seek a solution that unfortunately was not granted. After these events, I tried to remain calm in the hope that a fair solution could be reached and proceed to leave you with a Google Drive link, the complete info and items and everything like that. If you're very disappointed, sign above is my first bitter experience with a client, being a client because I'm also an illustrator and uh, mentioning all like the messed up PSDs as I'm guessing, the messed up, they're trying to show like everything that was messed up inside of it. The, um, my guess is that's like bad layering or something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into PSDs. They left a PSD with a bunch of stuff that doesn't even exist, it looks like. From what it looks like, again, from what it looks like. Google Drive folders in case you need to see the model errors, add the images to the corresponding folder. That is, at the last conversation, the evidence in the drive, didn't give you a month. You told me you would have had it completed this past month of May. I never had any information about the refund uh, given after 16 hours, knowing that we are different time zones and I never refused partial refund. You told me about neither did you wait for my response. Right contact Vigen support. Yeah, they did contact Vigen support. I know many seems like I'm trying to defame you or hurt you, but I, I'm telling my experience of working with you. 
it's for other people. Just as a final point, the drive is included, order VGen, invoice of how much was paid, why it was paid, and the log of screenshots from Trello before delivery and after delivery. So this is all the stuff. These are the things, the models, the weirdness of the model, the way it looks, everything is there. I'm not gonna look at the model because some of them is nude, but um, record of the archive that we saw, the Trello, uh, the Trello board was going on, uh, Trello board here, let's open this. Mock-up sent, outfit sent. These things aren't checked. None of that's paid. Everything's paid off, but nothing sent. Again, supposedly hair started, waiting for final approval. Rigging started. And the invoice was paid 730 uh, Mexican pesos. It was it was paid in Mexican pesos, which means that this person is even in worse shape because it's Mexican pesos. Um, and uh, let's see the other side, of course. We, we also have to look at the other side because I always like looking at the other side. Because, of course, we have to look at the whole side. The whole story so people can make their own opinions. Docs.google. Read terms of services next time. <clears throat> this is their full thing. This is a 84-page thing. But we're not going to... We're going to go over the main thing. Basically, reaching out for calm. Uh, the client has reached out to discussing various quality issues. This is Sam for VGen, I'm guessing. Plus the commission. Uh, they're looking at issues here. The PSD files. The VGen proposals. The full body with expressions. The excited plain eyes. Extra hair feet counts 100. Uh, the, the 250, 450, 600 for the full body model. The working with them, I reserve rights to halt any commission anytime for any reason. Poor communication. I don't like it. I'm not connected with it. Are not reasons for a refund. Working with us, you understand the quality we can do. So that's their team's terms of service. Here they're saying, I don't be afraid because commission the VGen 2. Oh, my half and full body models do come nude. Unless you want to swap the outfits easier, but it makes you uncomfortable. I can add simple bra or underwear. No body underneath. See what you get. Simple underwear is fine. I appreciate you thrilled with my work. Said model comes fully nude. Simple underwear, which is what I did above. Here's the full model. It's a beautiful model. I love the model. I absolutely love the model. Uh, PSD file open for me. She, uh, if she had issues, she should have reached out and could have tried sending it again. Tried to help figure it out. So this is the full PSD one. Remember, the other one that was shown was one with a lot of errors. This one is the full one shown as the person had it in their in their Photoshop. Maybe it's something with, with errors, maybe something going on, who knows? Uh, and that is, you know, the, the different parts of it. And it says, I want to touch base one more time and make sure you're okay. Use the clothes comfy if you're eating something, did, did too much stuff. Basically, a lot of communication was said and forth. A lot of communication. Had to ask for a refund. I'm very sorry for the situation. I feel very worried because furthermore, I understand the times and the causes, but I decided that maybe this year will not be for my project because several artists have left my commission related to debut very late. You are taking... Talking at 1 a.m. and I passed out. Can still give you finish this month, but I fully understand if I'll refund you. So they try to work with them. Going to continue the commission. So they're going to continue the commission. They said they're going to continue the commission. Take your time and just slightly packing. Uh, you know, that type of stuff. Add the refund page right in front of me. Let me know what you want me to do. So yeah, that's the that's the the other parts that they had. They had the, the full, the full, like, you know, they've done buff pup stuff. Uh they, they did that as, as a as a comparison. The skin, the other bodies, the other stuff like that. The, the layers, everything, everything's being done. You can see right here, <clears throat> they go through everything. They have proof. They actually went through all of the effort to have everything done correctly, to have everything be um, looked at. Everything was accepted, be a little bit sharper. They made them sharper. They worked with this person. They worked hard with this person. They're doing their best for everything. She knew what she was getting. She approved the model for updates. I didn't do any drastic changes she didn't approve of. Everything she asked was fixed and done. I was late to agree upon deadline. I was late trying to make sure I finished. You can see I redid the hair completely. And again, they try to communicate. When she reached out for a refund, I apologized. I admitted being late. Never lied about anything. Offered a very generous refund because a lot of the work was already done. So I can understand that. And then they pushed again. Uh, many changes deliver late. Very re regular communication. Model does not look like the character despite the progress. Feels made in a hurry. So they were nitpicking at this point. Uh, TOS, I get paid for my time. So it's good that they had a terms of service that way. That's why VGen didn't support them. That's why VGen did not give them what they wanted because they did not have the support. Um, they they basically wanted to renege on everything. Maybe it was money. Maybe I don't know what it was. <clears throat> Insulted and being told she was rushed when this is my style and best work. Best I can do is 350. It says not up to me whether you use the model or not. Understand the frustration, but the model was done. You deserve that much and was given response and deadlines. I did not lose sleep and work my butt off for four weeks to be basically told I don't deserve to be paid for my time. Of course, that's why a lot of things go by installments, you know? Turn of service clearly states, I don't like it, I'm not connected with it, are not reasons to be done. They even gave a best I can do 350, so they even tried to do that. 
Made it to the delivery date, very regular communication. Final delivery, I tried to work with you in, uh, on Twitter for missing the deadline. Still offering 150 back. Model is now finished. Model is shown multiple times throughout the process and approved for render. So yeah, they did the render. They did everything. The model is done. The PSD file is done. And attached to the image that was in the file, she used issues with it. Should have, should have reached out. It does look like the OC. It does look like the OC. Holy crap. It looks like the OC. You look at it. It looks like the OC. They even made it look like buxom. They made it look very nice. Notice the client that given circumstances, the evidence provided. There's not much we can do in the situation. If there was an additional inquiries or concerns, um, they basically told her to, you know, go, go kick rocks pretty much because, um, and then we go, you know, people have, have responsibilities. These are the things that they put out there. Uh, you know, basically they just, I don't know what happened, but overall it looks very bad. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going a little bit more for the artist right now. Yes, they deserve to be paid for the time that they have. Um, everything seems to be going well. Like overall, it just seems honestly, just from looking at everything here. Yes, there was the one thing I will say about the artist, just to be fair, the artist did wait too long. The artist did, uh, have a lot of moments where they weren't able to finish things on time on schedules, but that's why you need to communicate a lot more, not give them a month, two months, three months of wait between communicating. You communicate a lot more with your person. Do it weekly if you have to. Do it whichever way you have to. Uh, the little errors that they put out there, they fixed. Everything was fixed. Um, and, you know, everything was done. They worked hard. It looks beautiful. If you look at that, it looks beautiful. Which I also counted for. It looks really well done. I'm not I'm not seeing the big issue here. And that's the, that's the thing that I have to look at. I have to look at everything, all the information that's given here. And they're saying here, because I try to talk with you, not just blast this. This is why the model is no quality, not complete. I can show you my own model with the lines lapping. They try to say it's a low model, not complete, looking very bad, all that kind of stuff. I read through all this. It's just, it's basically someone trying to get, trying to be done with it. It just doesn't seem, in my opinion, it doesn't seem like the artist did anything bad in the sense they were even trying to give them some money back, 350, because they did the work. They did the work. If you don't like it at the end of it, that's your fault. That's your thing you deal with. A lot of things were done. A lot of things were worked to your satisfaction. So yeah, no, at this point, I'm, I'm siding more with the artist, even though the artist does have their faults. Both sides have their faults, but in this case, I don't think the artist is really the one really truly at fault. Y'all know I do love the memes. Y'all know exactly that I do love the memes. And here we have a meme right here. Uh, Needy Sandy's like family. The dad just needs to gouge money and flame his fun of luxury lifestyle. Pretty much, I love my Nidhi Sanji family. The Nidhi Sanji family is this dude. If y'all don't know, it's a, uh, it's a very bad part of um, Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, Eduardo Onisan. Just think of that one. Just think of that one. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, to think of that one. That was a tough one. That was a tough moment. But yeah. Uh, just rewatched Full Metal Alchemist and thought the show Tucker was kind of similar. Yeah, he sacrifices everything to get recognition, sacrifices everything to get money, kind of like Riku Tazmi. Another little bit of a meme going on. I'm not pregnant. She's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. For now, the night is young and our beds are touching. Uh, Matara and Mint. Mintara. Oh my God. It looks so cute. Oh my God. It looks so cute. I, I need it. I, I need, I need it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> that is the, uh, the, the, the whole meme of this one. She's, she's going to do it. Sumit so thought she would have COVID because Matara does, and they share a hotel room together in Japan. Min has a negative test result. Didn't stop people from asking of COVID testing. It was a pregnancy test. Source from Matara Art. And of course, here we go. And this is tested negative. It's not a pregnancy test. <laughs> um, tested to make sure she's not pregnant. What a relief. Ghosts are immune from mortal sicknesses, you know. And there we have the Mintara, of course. The, the, you gotta love the, how the memes get created. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.